Yo, what's good with you? Back in black with another enlisted video. If you guys are new to the channel and you love shooting games just like me, make sure you aim for that like button and shoot that subscribe button as well. It'll help you find better teammates and improve your skill-based matchmaking. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Maxim Tokarev machine gun. Brand new in-game machine gun added for the USSR faction. I'm sure you guys know how these videos go by now. We're going to take a look at the stats first and then we're going to get into my uh, subjective opinions and we're going to get into the best ways to actually use the guns in combat combat and end it off with a rating 1 to 10. The standout feature for this gun has got to be the hit power coming in at a whopping 13.2 fully upgraded and even out to 300 meters you're still going to be doing the death blow at 10.6 damage per shot so you can really stretch this gun out especially with a decent muzzle velocity coming in at 815 meters per second. Something that is not so hot about this gun is the rate of fire coming in at a base of 600 rounds per minute which I'm sure is lower than what the you know most gunners would want on their weapon. I guess that's the result of the design being based on a World War I weapon but this can be pushed up to 660 rounds per minute once the gun is actually uh, fully maxed out. Um, you will see a reoccurring theme of me recommending that you fully max this weapon out if you are going to use it. That being said, I do load the reload time coming in at a base of 6.5 seconds and even fully upgraded it is only 5.5. So expect to get shot while um, you know, you're reloading often and be prepared to switch to the uh, next soldier if you want to keep up the fire. In conjunction with the lower fire rate, you would think that this gun would be a lot more controllable, but this couldn't be further from the truth. Throughout this entire video, you will see my thumb struggling to keep the weapon on target. And with that being said, I do know the recoil said it was 14 vertical and 25 horizontal, but I think a more accurate description would be like 20 vertical and 30 horizontal, which is crazy. But I mean, you know, if you think about it, this shit does weigh about 15 pounds. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, that does kind of make a little bit of sense if you're trying to shoot this thing from a standing position um, especially you know when you're stressed out and under fire and whatever the case may be especially if you're weak you probably wouldn't be be able to shoot this thing standing up so you know how that goes other benefits included from fully maxing this weapon out include a 15% reduction to your shot deviation which is always a godsend for the machine gunner class and if that is not incentive enough the only other thing that I will say you know will make this gun worth using is that whichever soldier you are going to have equip it make sure that you max out their recoil reduction for vertical if not horizontal or if they're lucky enough to you know be able to afford horizontal recoil reduction but at the very least make sure you max out the vertical recoil reduction you will be very thankful that you did. So this is just my personal experience, but where this gun definitely shines is from a stationary position where the enemy is attacking you, or more often than not, whenever you are playing the game and you are on defense, this will be a more than adequate time to bring this weapon out. I know so because um, basically this allows you to play to this gun's strengths, which is sustained fire, and you can take great advantage of this by mounting up on a ledge of some sort or by crouching behind something, and this won't necessarily solve the problem of the crazy recoil entirely, but what it will do is that it will allow you to hold down the trigger for longer bursts without losing control of the weapon. Pertaining to what I said earlier about the reload time, that is even more reason to use this weapon from a hunkered down position or from an elevated defensive position where the enemy has to go out of their way to get rid of you and your squad and you can basically rain down bunches of bullets on them as they try to get on the objective and of course you can have an ammo box behind you so you can continuously restock and uh, you know if you're a smart guy you will be sure to bring large ammo packs so you can stay on the front lines more often than not because you know more if you're not making the um, ammo box yourself more often than not your teammates aren't going to be giving you one unless you're playing with a party so keep that in mind as well Another thing to take note of is that this entire weapon's identity literally from the game description is based on being like bulky and too big and too heavy to be running around and shooting people with. Not that you can't play offensively with this weapon, but just generally speaking, I've noticed from my gameplay that, you know, my machine gunner squad is 
equipped with nothing but this gun stay alive a lot longer when I didn't necessarily have anywhere to run to if that makes any sense and on top of that I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling the brunt of how hard it is to play against Germany especially right now in BR5 ever since the merge so essentially what I've derived from that is that we just got to start playing smarter especially if we're going to play something that is not Germany that being said I will say this gun gives me mixed feelings because when I first started using it I couldn't go on long kill streaks which you know is something that I normally do especially when I have a machine gun that has a hundred bullets and I have more than one mag and I was just having a hard time figuring out what was going on until I realized that this gun is basically just a very niche kind of weapon that should be used primarily for defensive endeavors and of course you know soldiers who do have this gun should be able to have or at least they should have a lot of weapon handling uh, points that you can rearrange around to make sure you can mitigate that recoil as much as possible. All that being said, due to the very one-sided nature of this weapon and the simple fact that there are many alternatives that are just as effective if not more so without as many drawbacks, I'm going to have to give this gun an overall score of a 6.5 out of 10, but I gotta ask, what do you guys think? Have you given it a try or do you think this is something that you will be striving to unlock soon? Let me know down in the comments section. And as usual, I do appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching the video if you have made it this far just want to know that you are the best and you are goaded i'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play out so you can formulate your own opinion about the gun but before you go don't forget to aim for that like button and shoot that subscribe button as well it'll help you find better teammates and improve your skill based matchmaking and uh yeah black guy out